Greetings and welcome to Spiral. This game is cozy in its aesthetics, but deals with some pretty serious and difficult subject matter for some. We are following a character named Bernard through cognitive degeneration, and it is supposed to be a poetic telling of memories through his life. But because this is something very real that affects people uh, every day, you might not be in the headspace to uh, listen to or walk through this story with me and if that is the case I totally understand and it's okay to click off this video. But if you want to know more about Bernard's story the developers were actually nice enough to send me a little package with some <clears throat> postcards and stickers and a note from Bernard that I wanted to read out before we get started today. Um, and on the back of one of the postcards there's actually like a little letter for us. And it says, Bernard, I know you won't believe me when I write this, but I'm going out dancing tonight. Dancing, Bernard. Am I the real Sophie Penfield? I wish you were here so you could witness what I think is the real me doing a salsa or tango or something. I don't know what yet, but I'm actually excited. <laughs> Who am I? And then it's soap with two little, two little kisses at the bottom. And then this is the front of this postcard. Here's Bernard with a cute little, cute little dog. And then Spiral some of the cover art, which I think is just beautiful. I think this game is going to be very aesthetically pleasing. And then I also just wanted to show you guys the stickers because I actually, I really love stickers. <laughs> My laptop is covered in them because I feel like they're, they feel like almost like real life collectibles, you know? But there's a little dog that says, are you lost to spiral the game? And then some of these stickers. And then there's the, there's the wish list if you would like. <laughs> to see. And then there's also a Polaroid. And I don't know how they did this because this is like a real Polaroid. But it looks like I'm assuming Bernard on his wedding day. And it's very, very pretty. And then we have the letter. And I don't know if this is going to be a precursor or spoil anything, but I did want to read it before we get started. Um, and it's from Bernard. You can see it's signed until next time. So let's do it. So it says, Dear Friend, I know that my letters usually start with me rambling on about what's going on and who I'm with, but I want to throw all that out and begin anew. Being a writer, I can't help but say, let's rewrite the prologue, the introduction, whatever you want to call it. The time span between our correspondence is widening. I own that and I owe you an apology. Do you remember the news my doctor gave me when I wrote to you before? We've always had an honest relationship and that allows me to conjure enough bravery to tell you that it's getting worse. My memories are growing thin as if they're being stretched like wisps of smoke. Your name escapes me, but only sometimes. When I have it, I hold on to it and don't really want to let go. I'm beginning to have this inclination with everyone close in my life. You remember all of them, of course. Sometimes I look back at our previous correspondence and a name will appear that I can briefly paint a picture of. I was just looking at our last one about Emma or Emily. In many ways, I'm trying to hold on to my memories like I would the kite spool. Only I'm not holding on to the handles, but desperately trying to grasp the string as it flies away from me. As I'm writing to you, I'm realizing more and more that I'm getting it wrong. In the process of keeping the string tethered, I don't really get the chance to see the kite fly. If only for a little. Emily lives for these moments of flight, as I know you do. Maybe it's time I did too. After all, being with you has given my life extraordinary color and adventure fit for a game like C&C. &C. Only this was real. The stories, the games, all pale in comparison to the epic that is my life. An epic created by you and so many others that dazzles and brightens every given moment. Whether I remember it or not, for that, I cannot thank you enough. I've decided to let go of the spool. Can you believe that? Whatever happens, so be it. But it is not done. It's never done. While my replies will inevitably become distant and shorter, I want you to continue writing to me with a new introduction. Most importantly, have fun with it. Make stuff up. I want stories, epics. Call yourself a crusader and tell me about your campaign. Tell me more about a prince or a princess you rescued. Talk to me about how you escaped a dungeon. You get the idea. I want to see the colors again. You can make that possible, as you have so many times before. Our correspondence may look different going forward, and I accept that. I hope you can too. Thank you again for staying by my side. It was just as important to me that you were there for the joyful moments as much as the difficult ones. Individual joy gives the sky a star. Shared joy creates the constellation. Who am I without these beautiful connections and shapes that inspire not only my writing, but my life? So let's keep writing. 
we'll start again every time. You pick the story. Where my old stories cease, let's have a stream of new ones to ensure our journey never ends. Until next time, Bernard. And with that, I think we are ready to begin. So we're starting with the spiral staircase. Last stop. Last stop on the 812. Last stop, sir. Everyone is to leave the train. But I'm the only one. And I don't recognize this place. I don't know what to tell you, sir. Wait. Whoa. I don't know where I am. Help me. Please. Okay, so we start with <clears throat> Bernard getting off the train. And also I'm assuming that the state of the world is kind of representing that he doesn't remember where he is now. Find controls here. Okay, so there's a controls reminder and everything else. All right, let's go with Bernard. Oh, I tried to run. <laughs> I got an achievement hey, and said you're too one. old for running. Hey! Are you lost too? Hi, buddy. Can I talk Alfie? to you? Huh, what an adorable name. Ah, no address. Now, who could you belong to? Now, Alfie is the cutest. Wait. Hey, wait. Don't try to hold up there. <laughs> I'm not young like you seem to be. So I have to follow Alfie. Okay. <laughs> that is the cutest dog. Um, but I'm assuming he doesn't remember where he is. I wonder why he's alone right now. If he had like a, a memory that he remembered and went out. I don't know yet if it's loss of short-term memory, long-term, or kind of a mix of both. You seem to know where you're going. So let's follow That's Elfie. It. Is Alfie going to take us on a little adventure? Oh, here's the staircase. What is this place? Oh. It's so beautiful. Alfie? Where'd you go, girl? Oh, Alfie's gone. All right, I can't go up, up anymore. The staircase is broken. So we have to find out what's downstairs. Hmm. This feels familiar. I like Bernard's voice. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Okay, let's go in. I don't know yet if we're to assume that we're in a physical space, taking Bernard around and he just can't see what's around him. But I think this is a memory. <gasps> Wait, was Elfie like a childhood dog or something? Because I see a dog collar on the bed. Oh, cute. Explore the cabin. All right, let's do it. I think we got to do the collar first. Yeah, Elfie. Oh, and there's some stuff outside now too. Okay, let's look at the newspaper. Bernard Penfield wins first prize in local writing contest. The young writer takes home first prize in the local curio writing contest for a short story all in the timing. The story follows a woman in search of lost time. Did she find it? You'll just have to read the story to find out. This is Bernard's first win for his writing, but it certainly won't be his last. Aww. So we knew Bernard was a writer from the little letter that we got. The kite. Ah, I remember now. Emily. Emily. Is Emily... Uh, do we think Emily is a first love? We never did friend? finish that, did we? Ah, uh, but that's okay. No matter what we did, it... It didn't matter. I was just happy to be spending time with you. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. Is it supposed to be representative of, like, the train of thought? It seems like there was three different people there. Um, but I agree with that, Bernard. Sometimes it's not about what you're doing, but who you're doing it with. And just using that time with them. Dad. Your father? Oh, we have a couple different things here now. Objective is to explore the cabin. Okay, let's look at this. 
The dog's name was Elfie. It sounded so familiar and foreign at the same time. It's like I can mouth the words Elfie, but can't get any meaning out of them. I tried writing her name down a few times just to see it and sound it out, but something isn't right. Elfie, that dog led me here. Why couldn't I catch up to her? She led me here. That's all I know, I guess. But why did she lead me here specifically? Uh, would the dog? Why would the dog lead me here specifically? My family's cabin, or at least it used to be. Everything's changed about it, and yet it's stayed the same. It's like I'm caught between something known and unknown. Minuscule, yet vast. Solid, yet fleeting. And when I reach out, all I grasp is air. Wow. Okay, and then we have some other journals that we can... Uh, unlock, I'm assuming, at some point. Um, can I look at this? What a beautiful day today. Well, oh, I should get outside and enjoy it. <laughs> it is pretty beautiful, isn't it? Oh, do we have a memory or something? Oh, sorry, Bernard. My bad. Uh, what is this? A picture? Tab to read? I feel so fancy here and completely out of my element. It's addicting. I just did a grand tour of the palace and next another palace. Wait till you see some of these interiors in the pictures. Feels like dad's with me enjoying the craftsmanship as much as I do. Okay, maybe a little bit more. I'm assuming this one of these Sophie's people is a sibling. And she's called me the troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> did we get a new journal from that? I need to see... Um, no. Okay. Uh, we can close out. Aren't you going to return your book, Soph? That depends. Aren't you going to leave me alone? You should return them. And you should mind your own business. They're not yours. They're the libraries. I'm not finished with them yet. Enough, you two. I can hear you both from downstairs, for Pete's sake. <laughs> All right, so Sophie Sophie was a sibling, or at the very least, a childhood friend. And we've got a newspaper. Small town girl with big time plans. Sophie Penfield will be the first Palentia resident to travel over 50 countries. Her ultimate dream, to do it all in 100 days. I wonder if she ever did it. We've got some toys and some more letters up at the top. Okay, I feel like I want to explore everything. Oh, we can. Bring the gramophone. I remember dancing to this song with her. We could dance to it all night long. And we did. It's really pretty. New train line brings hundreds of community jobs. St. Pierre Railroad will be extended. The St. Pierre line will be making its way to our fair community shortly. For more information, contact Kathy Leyland at the number listed below. New train line. Okay, so we have a new train line. Uh, Sophie likes to travel and Bernard is a writer. Let's go down. Bernard, aren't you coming outside? I need help in the garden. Okay. Our mother, perhaps? God, this is so cozy. It's beautiful. I love all the colors. This house could get so cold. I always loved it when Dad would come in with chopped logs, even after a hard day at work. Always the hero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Art, sit still. Ooh. Why is it taking memory. so long? Portraits require patience, little one. But, but Mom... Enough whining, uh. young man. Now sit still, please. She painted a lot of different portraits, because there's one there, there was one on the staircase. Um, who is that, though? Because that woman doesn't have red hair, and I'm assuming Monique, Bernard's mother, had red hair. Guess we'll see. What still holds up after all these years? The chair? <laughs> so we got those memories. I think... I don't know if we get branching paths, depending on how many memories we end up um, picking up. But either way, oh my god, I love these cabinets. Let's see what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> Eggs, milk, bread, treat? Need a little sweet treat? I don't blame you, Bernard. Maybe I'll like make some sweet tea treats. later. Just like Mom used to make. 
Oh, I miss her. Isn't it amazing how those little interactions that you've had growing up, not even just with family, but friends and the people around you end up shaping the person that you are oh, and the things that you like asparagus. as an adult? More fun to play with than to eat, if you ask me. <laughs> Bernard, eat your asparagus. It's gross. I agree. But don't you want to grow up big and strong like me? Not if it means eating that. <laughs> you remind me so much of... Well, me. Back when I was your age. Your father has a crazy mustache. Oh, I can look at this. Oh, this was Dad's favorite. A painting? Hmm. Probably from... My mother. hair stopped growing a long time ago. Better protect the old noggin. <laughs> I guess, yeah. You can get sunburnt, right? On your head, <laughs> if you're not careful. You don't have a head of hair. I feel like the skin would be more sensitive. Bernard, hello, old friend. It's been a while, hasn't it? I was so happy to get your letter and even happier to know you're doing well, even for a bag of bones like you. I'll tell you what, why don't we get together again for old time's sake? We could play the role-playing game like we used to when we were kids with Ren and Danny. Think about it and write me again. Don't take too long, though. I miss you, friend. Be well. Luna. So Luna's now, a new character. what was this for again? My treehouse? No, I can't be right. Emily, I've been meaning to tell you something for a while. It's easier for me to write to you than speak. Nard, I know will you that please you help me with my plants. Okay, I'm coming. Hold on. Uh, that's Luna's thing. What is this? Is this the one on the ground that I was looking at? I guess. And then nothing back here. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go help Monique. But before Who's I that do it, handsome fella. <laughs> My mom did a better job with Sophie. Oh, but there again, she didn't fidget as much. <laughs> I suppose not. Then we've got the bathroom in here. Hello, Bernard. How's it going? And then the outside. I think I'm about ready to go outside. It looks beautiful out. He wasn't lying when he said it was really pretty. Uh, spin the globe? Wait, how? It's harder to find places Sophie didn't travel to on this. <laughs> Bernard, were you the homebody while Sophie ended up traveling the world? Um, and with that, I think we're good. Do we go out the back? Am I ready to go outside? Oh, and now you're making me worried. Can I go out the front door? Let's see if I can go out the front door. If not, I think I'm ready because I think I've explored all the different rooms. Been meaning to get that darn lock fixed. Okay, so we might need to remember that the key is in that one bedroom. Eventually to get out. I think we're ready. Let's go outside. Aww. <laughs> you have very sharp cheekbones, Bernard, even in childhood. And we're here. Can I actually run now? I can. So we're in chapter one, family. Ah, oh, fun. Find mom in the garden. Is there anything else I can look at though? He's got cute little overalls on. I've got overalls on today. Bernard, we're matching. Sophie, <gasps> hey. that's supposed to go around your neck. How did you? <laughs> Never mind. We were quite a match. Right, let's follow Effie. F Weren't we? Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. What is this for play? Warlocks don't even have claws, Danny. Get out of here. I am the crab warlock. <gasps> okay, <laughs> clearly you can't be the warlock because you don't know what one looks like and sounds like. Who is that? There's another character. It was a question mark. We haven't met them yet. Got a treehouse here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hello? Oh, oh, here we go. So that's what you were looking for. Elfie? Hi there. Uh, throw controls, F to aim, and then press this Elfie to throw. Elfie could always outrun me. I, I may have beaten her once, though. <laughs> All right, let's look. Oh, we have Elfie, the Penfield pooch, jumpy, rambunctious, and always getting herself into trouble, just like Bernard, sometimes even together. 
Um, and then Bernard, a soft-spoken, nostalgic gentleman looking to remember everything once again. The remnants of his past sometimes give him great joy and others encapsulate great pain, but he understands that if he is to unlock the keys to his past, no door must go unopened. Okay, and then do we have anything more in the journal or was that just, oh, here we go. Elfie was wild today. She was running in all kinds of directions and I could barely keep up. I can still beat her in a foot race though. I played fetch with her, which she loves. I'm really happy mom and dad got me a puppy last Christmas to play with. Sophie can be uh, kind of boring. All she wants to do is play in her fort with dolls, but now I have someone that I can always play with forever. Not forever, unfortunately. I wish, but we have that. We have dad's shed, the cabin, lake, garden, and then the fort as well. We got a lot of different things that we can do. Hi there, Elfie. Hi, Elfie. Oh, when you see, oh, okay. Can I actually pet you? What a good girl. Hi, baby. Yes. Okay. I think we're done playing fetch for right now. So let's go. Can I actually go up here? Maybe I'll play in my house a little later. All right. A little later, which means not right now. There's an outhouse here. Very Shrek coated. Got any onions in the house? Oh, we can't go in there. And it looks like Nari? somebody. I'm thinking maybe Sophie. There? Where are you? I don't see you. Hold on. Give me a second. I gotta explore the rest I've of the yard, Mom. I already claimed it. You can't have my seat. Mm. <laughs> the so-called mature one of the family here. But I want to swing. What if I push no. you off? No. And Mom says you're not big enough. No, she doesn't. Mom! I'm staying out of this. Settle it yourselves. Just one swing. Please, 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 please. Okay, <laughs> she okay. Like, uh, Jeez. You can have Billy it later. With the green you eyes. just have to promise you'll leave me alone for a little while. I okay. totally promise. Mm-hmm. Just like you promised mom you would help with the dishes last night. That was different. Still, I'll need something better than just your word. Hmm. What about my words? Huh? <laughs> Multiple words. Give Sophie your words? What does that mean? Here. I've oh, like a journal entry? Really hard. If I break my promise, you can keep it. Okay, deal. She always had a soft spot for me. No matter how annoying I was. <laughs> so does that mean I can get on here now? Or are you still not going to get off? It? She's still not going to get off the swing. Come on. But I feel like we're in, like, Whoville. Um, we've got all of these different, <laughs> different things here. And then this is the front of the property? Are we actually going to be able to leave? I wonder. Uh, tab to read. I know mom loved painting portraits, but I would be shocked if she didn't come here and do some landscapes. The architecture here is insane. I'm awestruck. And by now, you know, it takes a lot more uh, to be just that. Okay. We've got a new oh, memory. No. Mom never did like it when I ventured too far. All right, so we can't leave the property. I figured as much. But I still thought we might try. There's some logs here. Maybe the father getting some firewood. But Sophie is the only person that we're really seeing. I like the music. It's very relaxing. So uh, maybe go to the beach first. Oh, there's our father. We've got a hat. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little fishing hat. And a balcony up here. And then we'll go say hi to our father, too. I think I've gone all the way around the house. There might be something more in the forest. Was I already up here? I was already up here. Uh, what's my goal? Oh, we have Sophie. Sophie, Bernard's sister and fellow explorer, usually gets in trouble even though it was Bernard's doing. Uh, currently dreams about roaming the world one day, but for now gets lost in her fantasy books. And then that's it for the journal for now. Find mom in the garden. Okay, so since that's our main objective, let's go say hi to our father. Really quick. And see if there's anything around here. Just explore a bit. Bernard, my boy. I've been waiting for you. How about a fishing trip with your old man, eh? Grab that fishing rod oh. and hop in the boat. Let's catch ourselves a big meal. Let's catch ourselves a big meal. 
So do I have a choice here? I kind of want to go back to the garden, though, I think. Hold on. Wait a second. So we have Robert, Bernard's father and biggest com uh, confidant. He is full of as much wisdom as he has silly jokes, and his family would have it no other way. He had a career as a fisherman, but it turned uh, but turned it down to be closer to home and take care of his family. All right, let's go meet Bernard's mother before we end up going there. Find mom in the garden and then get on the boat. So there are two different things. Wait, what just happened? Oh, I can crawl. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I'll remember that for later if we ever have to be sneaky. There's also some stuff here. There's so much to explore. <gasps> Wait, what is this? Oh, what Too are fresh. you doing out here? I don't know. That's odd, though. Too many spiders. I don't like how many spiders there are. Can I go through here? Always I got lost in here. Should have drawn a map. Do I even need a map? Can I go through here? No. I don't think Elfie is following me. I remember always running into the spider webs. I didn't yeah. mind as much as Sophie did, though. <laughs> I mind. I'll reiterate, spiders are fine as long as they're not on me. And walking through spider webs, you always risk. Is there somebody underneath here? Wait a damn minute. No, those are dolls. Oh my god. I thought there was like an accident or something. This foundation looks like it needs to be redone, though. A little bit. Some of it is, uh... Kind of messy. I would get claustrophobic down here. I would, like, have a panic attack trying to... If I... <laughs> somebody, like, blocked the way out, thinking that you were stuck. Let's not think that way, though, okay? We'll just stay relaxed. We'll stay curious. Hi there, Elfie! Elfie's looking at us. She's so cute. I love the dog. Now, where was be that fort here? Sophie built? Fort? The fort that Sophie built? I don't know. Gosh, it's like a maze down here. Is it this? Oh, it's this! It must be, right? There's like pillows. Oh god. There's probably snakes down here, too. Mom better not find out about Sophie's fort, or she'll be in big trouble. <laughs> okay, it updated our um, journal as well. Sophie's really gotten into her fort a lot. Uh, oh, not like it in it physically, but she spends a lot of time working on it. It's a lot bigger since I last visited. She has way more dolls too. I wonder what she does with them. There were so many cobwebs and spiders. I'm not scared though. Sometimes Sophie asked me to go ahead of her just so <laughs> that way I can get all the cobwebs and spider webs out of the way. Usually I have my sword with me. I can just whack through all of them. But when we get to her fort, she usually lets me stay for a little bit. It's good to know that I can protect her like that. Aw. All right. Well, we uncovered a secret in the cabin. I think I have to go back now. Aw, and we made it out. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, puppy. All right. So with that explored, there was still this. We have a whole ladder. A Maybe broom. Maybe one of these days, my dad will let me help him build something. Maybe. It's always a good day to learn. Hi there, puppy. Hi. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> this gameplay is literally just going to be me petting the dog. And you'll have to be okay with it. All right, I don't think there's anything else here. I mean, theoretically, we could look under there, but I'm not, I'm not noticing anything. All right, we're at the garden. Mother? Hello. Nord, it's so good to see you, darling. Will you give me a hand with the plants? Sure, water the flowers? The pretty flowers. Um, here we go. While you're, you can't run or interact with the environment, water, press that, and then Q. To put it down or something? Uh, hello? Oh, there we go. Okay. Careful, dear. Is this good? Too much water can be just as deadly as no water at all. Ah! Ah! Sorry! I didn't mean to Get do that. Now. Okay, how do I turn it off? Oh, there we go. Wow! This is beautiful! This is a stunning garden. Oh, I'll grab it. Okay. It's best to water them early in the morning or late in the evening. 
That way you avoid the sun going through water droplets and burning the leaves. God, these are really beautiful. That's interesting. Although I do know that different plants have different needs and necessities. There are so many palinkas here. Those were always her favorite. Palinkas. palinkas are my favorite. They were used for my wedding. <laughs> That's good. Run along now, Bernard. You've done a wonderful job. You're welcome. Okay, stop watering and we'll put this down. And we have Monique now, Bernard's kind, caring mother. Usually catches him when he gets himself into, into trouble, but has a softness for him. She's currently what locals consider to be the Green Thumb Champion and uses her unique gardening abilities to brighten others' day. Aw. Alright, I'm going to put the watering can down. We don't need it anymore right now. And I don't think we have anything up here, so let's go. Those are beautiful flowers. Really pretty. Are they based off of um, real ones, or are they I've already just claimed it. You can't have my seat. <laughs> That's so cold. But do okay. I've already I get it. claimed it. You Can can't have my here? seat. Mm. <laughs> no. That's so cold. But do okay, I don't think we need to here. do that with her right now. Let's go back and do the fishing. Because when I had spoken to her before, it didn't unlock anything. Not yet. Maybe we'll be able to unlock some things later. Father, I am ready to go fishing. We've got some cattails here. Yummy. Don't eat cattails. I don't. I think that you'll get yourself very sick if you ever eat one of them. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we uh, we will be off for most of the day. Am I ready to go? I mean, I think so. Is there anything more for me? I think we're good. I feel like I. Oh wait, we have a new journal entry. Gardening. Mom had me help her with the garden today, which wasn't too bad. She said that I could have a green thumb like her if I put my mind to it. I don't know what she was talking about, but I don't want my thumb to be green. That sounds gross. I hope if I keep gardening, I don't get that. I'm trying to remember mom's favorite flower. Maybe it's abriloids. Um, I don't know. Dad said that he was going to surprise her with a bouquet of flowers uh, tonight for dinner. Bouquet? Bouquet? Uh, it sounds weird, whatever it was. Uh, but I want to figure out mom's favorite flower so that way I can surprise her too. The palinkas. And then we have all of the different people here. I don't know that... Well, maybe we get, like, stickers and stuff every time we complete something. Oh, yeah, because we have uh, the little music there, which is one of the memories. We've got some of her things. All right, let's get started. I think we're good. I think we're good. I mean, unless we do something with the sister, but I don't think that we need to. Um, let's go fishing. I'm ready. Ooh, the trees are going away. Hi, Bernard. He's like looking straight at me. Wow, it's so pretty. There's something so calming about the water. Uh, control to throw a line. Beautiful cast, Bernard. All we have to do now is wait. For how long? <gasps> I saw a goldfish in the back. <laughs> so impatient. <laughs> well, the fish determined that, not us. While we wait, why don't I tell you a story, eh? There once was a small train that took the same route every day. It was happy with the route and didn't mind that it was the same day in and day out. But... One day there was a terrible storm, and the little train could not see where he was going. What happened to him? Patience, lad. Just as we must wait for the fish, we must also wait for the story to be fully told. Hmm. Now then, ah, there was a powerful, terrible storm that swept through the land, and the train could not see his usual route. He chugged and chugged all night but still was not sure where he was. By the time the storm cleared, in the morning he was lost. Dad, I think I got one. Oh, Easy oh, there, oh. lad. Slowly lower your rod while reeling it in. Okay, so the fish will move around, try and keep it inside the bar. Okay. Oh, am I doing a good job? I hope so. 
When the fish is pulling like that, just stop reeling for a bit. When it okay. stops pulling, you start reeling again. Got it, got it, I got it. I think I got it. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> well, that fish is too small. We can't eat him. Do you think he'll sing mean? to us? It means we toss it back and try to catch a bigger one, eh? <laughs> now, uh, where was I? The train <laughs> didn't know where he was and was very scared. Oh, yes. Oh, it sounds an awful lot the like the little train of the story. did not know where he was and was so scared. Mustering all the courage he had in him, he kept chugging along, hoping to find his usual route. As he chugged and chugged, he noticed a blue mountain to the west and practically fell off the tracks with joy. The mountain was on his route. But wait, it was on the wrong side. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But the little train was not scared. Mm -mm. He knew what to do. He chugged and chugged away, his eyes never leaving the mountaintop, since this was his safety, his home. As he chugged along, he began to look and wonder, had the mountaintop always been that beautiful? Had it always been that shade of royal blue? It was so magnificent. How could he have not noticed it before? As he gazed up at the mountain, he began to slow his pace and eventually simply stop. He knew that it wouldn't move and that he would find his way back. But in this moment, he wanted to enjoy it in a way he never had before. But why? Why didn't he just keep going? I would just <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I know, lad. It's probably something you'll understand more when you're older. I've got another one. Ah, okay. Nice okay. job, lad. I hope it's a big Let's one. Let's do it. I feel like that was a stop and smell the roses kind of a story. Um, but it's really true. Sometimes, sometimes breaks are essential. And it's like you said, you'll realize that the older you get as time starts to escape you. Because when you're young, you feel like you have all the time in the world. And in some ways you kind of do. That's a big fish. It's as I, big as I, Bernard. I've got it. <laughs> you make me so proud, Bernard. Your mother will be so happy now that fish is on the menu tonight. Yay! Ooh, but now the memory is closing off. That was Beautiful my cast? first memory. <gasps> At least I think it was. Fishing with Dad. Yeah. I think I remember the smell the most. Yeah. The lake. The bait and tackle box. Dad's cologne. Oh, yuck. <laughs> you know, we always begged him not to wear it, but wear it he did, and now that's the only way I can think about him. This is really sweet and sad. Isn't it amazing, though, how certain things like that can bring you back to those memories? Nard, what's wrong? I don't know. God, it's so pretty. I love the colors. <laughs> Although I will say some of these bushes look like uh, colorful tonsil stones. Like you ate a lot of candy, forgot to brush your teeth. <laughs> All right, well, Mom, I need help with something. What's wrong, darling? There's Elfie. Mom, I, I... It's okay, darling. Everything will be okay. I can help. I was oh, we gotta find to Elfie. Elfie. Over by that hill. She ran off. Bernard, look at me. It's okay, I promise. The park has a large fence around it, so she can't be too far. You better find her quickly because it's about to storm. Okay. Have I All ever right. broken a promise that I've made you? No. Never. But I promise we'll find her, okay? Okay. What are we ever going to do with that dog? She's just as much a troublemaker as you, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> ran away. Mom could always save the day. I wish I would told her that back then. Now show me where you were last playing with her. Um, I don't know yet. I'm going to explore some of the park, though. I've got another postcard. Um, 
Liam and Hannah would have time for their life, have the time of their lives here. They probably couldn't get enough of it like me. I thought about extending my trip here because there's just so much to do. But I think I'll just savor the days here and bring back the kids with me next time so I can enjoy it with them. I think Liam would love the skyscrapers. I miss them so much. And you too, goofball. Aww. I think those postcards m most likely are m more to the adult Bernard. Somehow bleeding into his memories here. That's my guess right now, at least. Okay, we've got a cute little bee. And we have to go up here. The flowers are just stunning. I want to know if they're real flowers, because the... I don't Excellent. know if the colors are going to be as vibrant, couldn't have but... gotten too far from here. Yeah, I'll go this way. Hold on just a minute, Bernard. There's a better way. What's the better way? We have to put on our detective caps first. But I, I, I forgot mine. Detective cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just an expression. Expression? Like feelings? <laughs> I have mom to thank for my extensive vocabulary. Mm, more like a saying. Now, we have to find Elfie's paw prints to see where she went. Like a real detective. Yes, I suppose so. But I don't have a magnifying glass to look for the prints. It's okay. <laughs> you can just pretend for now. Okay. It's amazing I'll how much a magnifying glass was too. unimportant. Okay, whatever my adult floats life. your boat. You mean like when I go fishing with Dad? No, it's just another one of those silly expressions. Oh, cute. Oh. No wonder I use those so much in my manuscripts. Okay, so we have Elfie's paw prints. Do I want to go back that way? Let's just follow Elfie's prints, though. I feel like they'll get mad at me if I don't follow them. Or maybe I'll get lost. I wonder why she decided to run off. Maybe she's found some food? A treat? That would be my guess. Alright, we'll keep going until we find a fork in the road. Can I... There we go. Um, we can go past here. Elfie! Is Elfie still here? Elfie is still here. Another fork in the road Some Elfie! I see her! Elfie, I see her! Come here, girl! Elfie, wait! Hi, baby! Ask mom for advice? Okay, but first... Oh, that's just a flower. Um, hello. Mother, I need advice, please. I like that we're, like, matching. <laughs> we're wearing, like, uh... Basically, like, the same mom. thing. Mom! Why did she run away again? Does she not want to play with me? <laughs> On the contrary, darling. I think she's the one being playful. Contrary? Like a canary? No, Bernard. It just means that I think it's the opposite. She wants us to follow her, but I don't think she wants to be caught. Oh, okay. It just means that we'll have to be careful. Like sneaky? Yeah, kind of like that. Oh, like... Like a ninja! Sure, if you want to think of it like that. Your imagination's bigger than you are, darling. Alright, so we have to go into sneaking mode. Follow Elfie undetected. We can do it. <laughs> Although I think she'd be even more playful now here. We'll see, though. So there's Elfie. I could go around that way. Let's just follow Elfie for now. Move quick, Bernard. Behind that tree you must follow. If she sees you or hears you, she will run away and you'll need to find her again. If she starts sniffing there, it means she smells you. Hide behind something in a, or in a bush to avoid being spotted. Quick, Bernard. Behind that tree. Can I even see her from here, though? Are we good? Are you going to tell me when it's safe? Did she see me? I'm gonna keep going. It's hard because there's not like a peak button that I know of. Uh, can I open this up again? Which way did she go? Which way did she go? Which way did she go? This way. Okay. Um, and then we have to go back into this mode. All right. We're staying undetected. Is this an outhouse? Ooh, there's a hat over there. Can I do something here? Wait, there's a memory. Bernard? Excuse me, have you seen a dog passing by? I'm sorry, I didn't. 
Interesting. Okay, and then what about this? Because I see a hat over here. The Invisible Man. And a uh, thing. Okay, so this is where Bernard is. Not Bernard, sorry. <laughs> Bernard would be a cute name, though, for like a St. Bernard. Like Bernie or something. Oh, I see her. Elfie. You have to be quiet. You don't want to scare her away. Just like a ninja. Exactly. All right, she turned around. I don't think she sees us. So do I just have to wait for her to turn around again? Ah. Where is she going? That's not good. The fence is broken. Ooh, let's go. You ready? Ah, but we can stay hidden in the bushes. I see. I see the strategy. What do you want in your name? Hmm, I don't know. What's yours? Danger Star. Like Danger that. Star? I'll have to think on mine. So there's another kind of NPC over there. I don't think we need to see him right now. I think we can just go this way. Until we see Elfie. Elfie! Hmm, I don't know. A different dojo, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like, you're my son, so I have to laugh at the joke, but it was really, you know, cringy. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's, he, he likes his, he likes his, uh, fantasies that he's stirring up in his head. Do you remember how I said it would take weeks to get the hand out of my hair when you threw it? Well, I'll take it'll take even longer to get the sand out between my toes, but it's worth it. Okay, we found another one of those postcards. Bernard, I mean, uh Elfie. Oh, found Elfie. All right, I'm going to hide behind this bush. <laughs> Shh. She'll go Don't away. Laugh. All right, she didn't see us. At least not yet. Which way are you going? Is she going to come back this way? No, she's going that way. Stay very quiet. Very hidden. Oh, I lost her again. How do I go up? Here we go. All right, Elfie's going this way. <gasps> the ball! It's a ball! No, it's an apple. Is it an apple? Huh. All right, which way did Elfie go? Elfie, come on, playtime's over. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Yes, I tell you, with the mailman. I with the mailman? Gosh, what are they gossiping about? Um, oh, there's some more people over here, though. Some more NPCs. I don't know how important their memories are going to be to Bernard, or if these are just things... Um, I have an ice I cream. Not now, Tom. It's going to start raining soon. We better get back home. So it's going to rain again. Um, all right, I got to find Elfie. <laughs> I want to find poor little Elfie. There's another outhouse here. You're barking. Hold on. Uh, Detective Cap. Where? Where'd you go, Alfie? <gasps> I found her. Mystique. What's that? My ninja name. Cool. <laughs> Mystique. Oh, Alfie's gonna run away again anyway, though. You know what I mean? See, look, she's just going anyway. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. Okay, hold on. I don't need, to, I don't need this. I need run. And if we see anything on the way there, then I'll be sure to pick it up. 
Elfie, why do you run from me? We're supposed to be family. Oh, is there deer? Is that what it is? Hold on. She went this way. Okay. Got some candy. Are we back where we started? No way. Really? Okay, she went that way, but there's a painting here. I don't know what that's about. Oh, there's Elfie. Okay, uh, back to hiding. We're gonna go in here so she doesn't see us. So stealthy. Is she gonna turn around again? Is she digging at something? Elfie, please stop running away. Elfie, no, stop, come back. Come on, we're so close, we're so close. Elfie, please, no, Elfie, please, no, oh. No, I don't think she sees me. Is she going back into the park? Ah, she's going this way. She's, uh... <laughs> Wait, what? There's another Elfie. Is there another dog? Oh, is Elfie in love? Is that what it is? Interstar, try catching her now. I got it. You just wanted to play with her new friend. Hi, there baby. you are, Happy. We've been looking all over for you. It's Looks happy, like they uh... just wanted to play together. Sounds about right. Annie! Grab your backpack, kiddo. It's about to pour. Maybe Danny. We can meet up again. Elfie and Happy. Happy. And play together. Annie would love that. Annie. We have to get going, but maybe next time. Us too. Yes, next time. <laughs> so this must be where he met Danny. Come on, darling, you'll catch a cold. It was oh, it's always raining. spreading. And for good reason. <gasps> <laughs> It's okay, Mom. It's just water. I guess so. It's just this day hasn't gone so well, has it? What do you mean? This was one of my favorite days with you. Delphi getting lost and now the rain. Really? But I had a lot of fun with you today. You did? Yeah. We got to be detectives and ninjas and now we get to play in the rain. Oh, well, that's nice of you, darling. But I haven't played in the rain since I was your age. Adults don't really do that. Why not? Well, it's because, well, mm, honestly, I don't know. It's just silly, I guess. What's wrong with being silly? Well, <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with it? And I not. love the rain. Oh, no, Bernard, Even if you don't I play can't. in it, it's just relaxing. Why not? It's fun. <laughs> Aww. My first bad memory. Elfie getting lost. Of course, it didn't turn out to be too bad in the end, did it? Oh, look at the tree. I was able to make Mom laugh. Oh, I loved it when I could make her laugh. Aww. And just like that, the prince had slayed the dragon and rescued the princess. The princess fell in love with... The princess did not immediately fall in love with the prince. The princess <laughs> proclaimed the prince. I have slayed the dragon for you. I have slayed the dragon so that we may be together. Do you not love me? A princess thought deeply about this. A part of her loved the prince, but another part of her heart was torn. She had thought she loved the prince for a long time. A long time before he slayed the vicious dragon. But something was off about the prince. But what was uh. it? Thinking up those wonderful stories again, darling? Trying to. I need to come up with a perfect ending. <laughs> the perfect ending, huh? I think it'll help if you're able to write it all down, don't you? Mom, thank you! You're welcome, darling. Now you have a place to put your entire imagination. Although I don't think it'll all fit. We may have to get you another one soon. I'm going to start uh... writing the story that I just thought of right now. That's wonderful, darling. That's so sweet. It's wrong. I still don't know the ending. You can write it without one, for now. 
But the ending's supposed to be the best part. <laughs> Perhaps. But it's getting there that you'll remember the most. Oh. It's the journey. My heart soared when she gave me that. First time my heart ever did something like that, actually. <laughs> I remember the feeling so well. It was just what I wanted, and Mom knew. She just knew. I think that's what affected me. Even more than the journal itself. To be loved is to be known. Bernard. Plus, I'm assuming since he was a writer, that was kind of the start of his career. Of his, not just livelihood, but passions in life. And it looks like we might be getting into school, it seems like. All right, let's go. But I think before we get into this next chapter, I am going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying this, diving into Bernard's story. Next time we will pick up with what I assume is his school life and continue on learning more about Bernard and some of his memories. Uh, if you are enjoying this, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I'll see you guys in the next episodes of Spiral. Bye-bye.